The Bible gives us a warning in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and beginning in verse 3, the Bible says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires. They will turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths. Friends, I want you to understand the Bible warns us that that time is going to come. The Apostle Paul begins to warn young Timothy and I believe us today that you know in the last days difficult times will come and I believe that we're in those days. I believe that the selfishness of mankind that we talked about last week is because of the rejection of the authority of the Word of God. So the Bible says right here for the time will come that time has come friends that time is upon us when men will not endure sound doctrine we try to proclaim sound doctrine and you know people don't want to hear it they close their ears off to it they close their minds off to it they close their heart off to it and i mean doctrine the word of god that is so extraordinarily clear now you know i I know people say oh we got to get rid of doctrine that that's ignorance right there get away from those people that's just absolute ignorance right there because the word doctrine means teachings and friends you don't want to get away from the teachings of the word of God so as we begin to look at this and we begin to understand what the word of God is warning us about right here the time will come when uh, they will not endure sound doctrine but wanting to have their ears tickled anything that's truth anything that's biblical they're going to close their ears to it they're going to close their mind to it they they don't want to hear those things because the word of God confronts them in their sinfulness and their selfishness and their wickedness and they don't want to hear about all those things. They want to hear, they want to have their ears tickled. They, they want to go to church and they you know they want to be entertained. And you know that's what a lot of the church today has become. It's become more of an entertainment industry than it has been of a true proclamation of the truth of God's word. And if we have transformed our churches into entertainment industries, then the church, friends, it needs to repent of that. It so desperately needs to repent of that, and we need to be proclaiming the truth of the Word of God, and the truth doesn't always feel good. As a matter of fact, uh, we're not going to feel good until we repent and we allow the truth of the Word of God to penetrate us and bring us into repentance. So when we look at this, you know, People aren't going to put up with this. People aren't going to put up with the truth. Now, I've been called a bigot. I've been called a racist. I've been called closed-minded. I've been called a fundamentalist. I've been called legalistic. And the reason I've been called legalistic is because, you know, people say, well, oh, you're you're legalistic because you're preaching, uh, you're, you're taking away grace. I'm not taking away grace by preaching on repentance. Friends, the only way you're going to receive grace is when you repent. The word of God is so extraordinarily clear about that. Yes, I preach a lot on repentance because it's not preached on a lot today. And it needs to be because the word of God so very clearly tells us to repent. But people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear it today. And friends, when we begin to look at this all week, this week, I'm going to be looking at the authority of the word of God over the authority of the word of man. And so when I look at the authority of the word of God over the authority of the word of man, it doesn't matter what man says. Doesn't matter what I say. Matters what the word of God says. So how do we combat this? How do we confront this? Paul told Timothy, starting in verse 1 of chapter 4, I solemnly solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead by his appearing and his kingdom. This is what you're to do, uh, Timothy. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove rebuke, exhort, and with great patience and instruct. So that's what you're to do is to preach the word in season and out of season. You say, well, you know, if I, if I preach the full counsel of God's word, I might get fired from my church. Why do you want to be there anyway if they don't want to hear the truth? 
Well, if, if, if I preach the full counsel of God's word, then people might not want to come. Well, they might not want to come to your church, but guess what? If you don't tell them the truth of the word of God, they're probably not going to go to heaven. Preach the word in season and out of season, whether it's popular or not, because guess what? Jesus is coming and he is the judge of the living and the dead. And he is going to come back and he's going to judge the nations of this earth how with the sword that comes out of his mouth. And what is that sword? It's the word of God. So preach the word. People may not want to hear it and they don't want to hear it. But we have to preach the truth of the word of God. The time has come where people don't want to hear the truth. But God told Timothy and he's telling us today, preach the word in season and out of season. God's gonna be the final judge. Now we're not to preach to tear people down, we're to preach to build people up. But friends, as we look at the word of God, it's not always easy, but it's always true and it's always profitable. Now that is good news. Good news worthy of sharing. Would you share this video so others can hear it and others can receive it when they believe it.